Watermelon is such a beautiful fruit. It is my favorite fruit. You better not comment below that it's a freaking black thing because if you don't like watermelon, you're just plain weird. So since watermelon is my favorite fruit, it just makes sense that I teach you how to pick a watermelon because I want you to get the most out of this watermelon season. Have you ever been to a party where you're so excited about the watermelon and then you take a bite and it's the grittiest, tasteless piece of shit you have ever tasted in your entire life? I'm gonna teach you how to avoid that situation by going to the store and picking out the most poppin' watermelon in the crate. And after we go and get the watermelon from the store, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a slushy with it. Let's go. I'm filming. I'm filming and I'm walking. Zam. So what you want from your watermelon is for it to have like a hollow tenor sound to it. It sounds okay. The next thing that you want to look for is the outer appearance of the watermelon. Contrary to popular belief, stretch marks are actually great in both the human body and watermelons. So, you want to pick up the most f***ed up looking watermelon you can find. You see this? It has some stretch marks on it. It's looking good. So besides the stretch marks, what you want on your watermelon is a yellow patch. That means that it has had time to sit in the field and sweeten up. You might think that this is okay. This is not okay. This is a light green patch. You don't want that. You see it? No, no. So this is the kind of yellow patch that you want to see on your watermelon. It's pretty good. <laughs> you got those stretch marks going. You got those, those, those scratches. It's been through some shit. But it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm choking right now. <laughs> so let's see if this watermelon reaches all the criteria. So what you want? Hollow sound. Let's go. Sounds hollow to me. We got the scratch marks and we got the yellow thing. So, <laughs> I'm still choking. <laughs> That's a wrap. Let's go home and make some watermelon slushes. Since the watermelon is already perfect and sweet, you don't have to put refined sugars in it and ruin the whole health thing. So make sure that you wash your hands before you touch the watermelon because nobody wants your germs inside of their slushy. <laughs> For a single smoothie, you pretty much only need like a quarter of a watermelon, but I mean, if you're, if you want more, then like go for it. <laughs> so once you have your watermelon inside of the cup, you're going to blend it a little bit. The reason why we wanted to blend it a little bit before we put the ice in there is because you wanted to make space because there's a fill line on this cup and if you go over it, it's just gonna be a mess. You don't really need that much ice because you still want it to be like slushy consistency and you don't want it to water down too much. So now you got a little bit of watermelon juice and it's gonna help the ice blend. Now, you gonna blend. So, that's pretty much it. If you want to put it in a cool cup, put it in a cool cup. Ooh. Now, gotta get the... Yeah, buddy. You made it look so <laughs> tasty. <laughs> it is super good though. Like, here, taste it. It's good, right? Good. It's good. You got that good, good. The other thing that I did not mention about these watermelon slushies is that you can use lemonade if you want, or any other juice, really. It doesn't matter. Um, vodka. That's it. That's how you do it. All right, so that is how you pick a watermelon and how you make watermelon slushies with it. I hope that this video was informative and that you learned a few things about life and watermelons. My motto in life is if your watermelon isn't right, nothing about the slushie is. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and sounded like I was begging right then. You know what? Give it a thumbs up if you want. Do it or I'll fight you. I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you guys next week. We freestyle rap about some watermelon. So you gotta pick the right watermelon so when you go to a barbecue, everybody else is jealous about them skills. How'd you pick this dope melon? Skills.